Beach Convention Center Auditorium in Long Beach, California for the finals of the men's individual APE fencing competition. In the final eight, three members each from eight teams, two from France, three from Germany, one from Italy, Sweden, and Switzerland entered. We are now down to the medal round with Philippe Ribo of France and Stefano Bellone of Italy in a fence-off for the bronze medal. We think it only wise that we review again the way touches are recorded. Each fencer is electronically wired so that when touches are made on any part of the body, they are recorded electronically. And in the foil, the target area is the trunk of the body. For the saber, it is the waist up, including the arms and head. And in APE, which we will see tonight, the entire body is the target. We are now joining in progress the bronze medal match between Philippe Ribot and Stefano Belloni. The score is now 7-9, Ribot's favor. The lower of the two scores shows the leader because it shows the fewer touches. Scores are touches against. The Italian in the front of your screen now. That's Ribot on your left. Belloni on your right. You see the clock in the back counting down the time. You're allowed 10 touches in 10 minutes to win. Whichever comes sooner. They were feeling each other out here the entire time. And Rebo wins it to capture his second bronze medal as he was a bronze medalist in the 1980 Moscow Games. Being congratulated there by his teammates. And he wins it 10-7. So oh, Rebo takes a seat on the sideline now and watches his teammate Philippe Bois in the gold medal match against Jörn Wager of Sweden. We join in progress this match at 9 to 4 in favor of Bois. It had been a very lengthy, very deliberative, cautious APE bout. Wager on your left, Bois on your right. That white strip you see is 14 meters long, two meters wide. Wagner was the NCAA fencing champion in 1978, led his team to the national title at Notre Dame. The lights you see on the left side of your screen indicate the touches. The overhead view there shows clearly the wires attached to both fencers used to record hits. The clock you see in the background actually runs backwards. It shows the num number of minutes remaining. Either 10 minutes or 10 touches, whichever comes sooner, will end this bout. Bogger now definitely in trouble. He couldn't tell it by the way he's fencing. Still very deliberative. Very much a cat and mouse situation. One quick lunge like that, and Bois wins it. The 29-year-old radiologist from France, his second gold medal in an Olympic Games. In 1980, he was part of the APE team who won the gold medal in Moscow. So congratulations to Bois, consolation to Wagner. So the individual APE final, Bois a gold medal, the three Americans all lost in the second and third rounds of the elimination and did not make the eight-man final elimination round for the medal. Let's take a look at that final lunge. And it was a lunge. Yes. And a touch recorded on the stomach. And we'll take a look at that at, at another angle. Fire on your left. Bingo, a gold medal winning lunge by Philippe Bois of France. And so France literally fences its way to a gold and a bronze. The U.S. will have to wait until 1988. Our last medal was 56 years ago, 1928, a bronze.